Hey guys, it's Crane. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a real nice abstract background for your wallpapers, signatures, or whatever you really want. So first of all, you're going to need your brush tool. And the type of brushes you're going to want are grungy abstract brushes. Again, it's personal preference, whatever brushes you think look nice. So today I'm going to be using these brushes. I will put the link to this search in the description. This Shifty J on Brush Easy makes really nice brushes. I use most of these for all my abstract backgrounds. So once you get these, you're also going to need the Topaz Labs filter, which is a plugin for Photoshop. Now I'll put the link to this video in the description too. Um, if you have any problems downloading this, it's not made by me, so I unfortunately can't help you. But it's rather easy to get. So once you have those two things, you're going to want to pull up the document that you're going to be working with. So right now I'm just going to pull up a rough signature size. So you're going to, whatever colors you want your abstract background to be, whether it be two colors or three colors, just make an, a rough abstract background using your brushes with those three colors, or two. So I'm just going to be using red and black for right now. And take any of your brushes, whatever brushes you feel like using, just gonna scroll up here and use these ones. Just make this background black for now. Actually, actually like this. And then again, just paste them all over, whatever you want, and just until you think it looks nice, keep doing it. Change brushes, change colors. So I'm gonna leave it at this right here. And then once you have a decent, it again, like right here, it doesn't need to look nice because Topaz will work for you. So once you've done that, go into Topaz Labs, and you can use either Topaz Detail or Topaz Adjust. Adjust is more, it works really well with photos, but it also can work on abstract backgrounds, which I'll show you here. And once this loads up, you get all these presets here. And these are custom-made presets all different sliders here so they all have a different effect. Now you can go through all of these and see what you look like best. So the ones at the bottom here they're really for photo editing. The ones at the top are really good for this effect specifically. And you can also change the sliders manually here. And like they are what they say so contrast, the saturations down here, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna do a minor photo pop here. Or contra, yeah, here. So right there, that even looks pretty nice. And if you get a really nice effect with adjust, you won't need to go into detail. Because sometimes what I find, if you get adjust and you get a nice effect, you go into detail and you want to make it better, it'll just ruin it. So just right now, for so I can show you, I'm going to go into detail. And it's the same thing. It's a bunch of presets, they're different presets, and there's different sliders here. Detail works really well with this, because, like, look, right here. Almost all the presets give a really nice effect to the abstract. Again, you go through all of these, see what you like best, choose that one. And, uh, of course, some presets work better with uh, different color combinations. So whatever color combination you're using, just choose the one that looks best. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, color jump here. Uh, this. So right there, you've got a really nice abstract background. And depending on the size of the brushes, you can use that in the wallpaper too. It'll just, it's harder because the brushes are smaller. But anyways, after you've done that, you can just add your text, whatever you want, on your background, and you have that abstract background. So just to show you what it looks like with other colors, that's what blue, and blue, orange, and white looks like. Again, different presets might look better, worse, whatever. So, and if you don't have Topaz, I'm going to show you how to use blending modes here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your abstract background layer on one layer, and you're going to duplicate it. And on the top layer, you're going to put your blending modes on it. So the ones that look best in my opinion are these overlay to hard mix here. They all give a decent effect. They increase the saturation and it's a decent alternative for Topaz. 
And if you don't, if you want something like in between soft light and hard light, you can just make another layer. And I, like again, it'll get more and more saturated every time you make another layer. I'm just gonna delete these. So yeah, you can use the blending modes, and that's a decent alternative. But Topaz should be easy to get with that link. So that's pretty much it, guys. You can use that for whatever you want. To experiment with different colors, experiment with different brushes. You, look at all the presets. And really, Topaz can be used for photo editing too. So if you want to use that, I'm in a tutorial, tutorial on that later. But it's a really awesome plugin that you should all be using. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will see you later.